TIG welding, an acronym for Tungsten Inert Gas Welding, is renowned for its precision and versatility in the welding world. This process is officially termed Gas Tungsten Arc Welding, or GTAW, by the American Welding Society. In some circles, you might also hear it referred to as Heli Arc Welding. At the heart of TIG welding is the tungsten electrode, which stands out because of its extremely high melting point. This unique property of tungsten plays a crucial role in the welding process. The tungsten electrode used in TIG welding is known as a non-consumable electrode. This means that while it does get extremely hot during welding, it does not melt and mix into the weld pool. This is a stark difference from consumable electrode processes, where the electrode melts and serves as filler material, integrating into the weld. In TIG welding, the tungsten electrode is held securely in a TIG torch. The electrode is inserted into a collet, which is then tightened against the collet body. You can adjust how much of the electrode protrudes from the holder by loosening the end cap and moving the electrode. Once the desired length is set, tightening the end cap clamps the collet onto the electrode, holding it firmly in place. The essence of TIG welding lies in melting the base metals, the two pieces that are to be joined. The heat needed to melt these metals is generated by an electric arc that forms between the base metal and the tungsten electrode. This arc is meticulously controlled either through a foot pedal or a thumb wheel on the torch, allowing the welder to adjust the heat as needed. For most metals, direct current or DC is employed akin to the current from a car battery, where one wire is consistently negative and the other positive. In the context of DC TIG welding, the electrode is usually negative while the workpiece is positive, a setup known as DCN, or direct current electrode negative, also referred to as straight polarity. This configuration channels most of the heat into the workpiece, making it the preferred arrangement for many applications. When welding aluminum, a different approach is required. Instead of DC, alternating current or AC is used. In AC welding, the positive and negative voltages alternate between the electrode and the workpiece. This alternation increases the heat on the electrode and has a cleaning effect on the workpiece. Aluminum is prone to forming oxides on its surface, which can interfere with the welding process by floating to the top of the weld pool and preventing a strong weld. The AC current helps to break down these oxides ensuring a cleaner and more effective weld. For TIG welding to work, the electric current must flow in a complete circuit. This circuit begins at the welding machine, travels through the torch to the workpiece, and returns to the machine. To complete this circuit, a work lead is clamped to the workpiece, ensuring that the current can flow back to the machine. This complete loop is essential for maintaining a stable arc and achieving consistent welding results. One of the unique features of TIG welding is the ability to weld with or without filler metal. This flexibility is not commonly found in other welding processes. When filler metal is needed, a filler rod is used. This rod, made from a specific alloy, is manually fed into the weld pool. It is crucial to select a filler metal that is compatible with the base metal and has the necessary strength for the intended application. The manual addition of filler metal allows the welder to have precise control over the welding process, making TIG welding ideal for intricate and detailed work. A critical component of TIG welding is the use of shielding gas to protect the molten metal from reacting with oxygen and water vapor in the atmosphere. This shielding gas is usually argon, but helium or other gases can also be used depending on the application. The shielding gas is stored in high-pressure cylinders, and its pressure is reduced to a usable level by a regulator. The gas then flows through a hose and is released at the point of the weld, creating a protective barrier around the molten metal. This barrier prevents contamination and ensures a high-quality weld. In summary, TIG welding is a highly precise and versatile electric arc welding process. It employs a non-consumable tungsten electrode, with the option to add filler metal manually as needed. The process is protected by an inert shielding gas, typically argon, which prevents atmospheric contamination of the weld. 
This combination of techniques and materials results in exceptionally clean and high-quality welds, suitable for a wide range of applications. Whether working with steel, aluminum, or other metals, understanding the intricate details of TIG welding can significantly enhance the quality and durability of your welds. TIG welding is not just about joining metals, it's also about achieving the highest levels of craftsmanship and precision. For instance, when welding thin materials or performing delicate work, the precise control over heat and filler material that TIG welding offers is invaluable. Additionally, advanced techniques such as pulse TIG welding can further enhance control, reducing heat input and minimizing distortion in sensitive projects. Achieving optimal results with TIG welding requires careful attention to setup and maintenance. This includes selecting the appropriate tungsten electrode, ensuring proper electrode preparation, such as sharpening the tip for precise arc control, and maintaining clean, uncontaminated shielding gas. Regular maintenance of the welding equipment, including checking for leaks and gas lines, and ensuring the integrity of electrical connections, is essential for consistent performance and safety. By thoroughly understanding and applying these principles, TIG welding becomes a powerful tool for producing high-quality, durable welds in a variety of materials and applications. Whether you are a novice welder or an experienced professional, mastering the intricacies of TIG welding can elevate your work to new heights of excellence.